Praise be Jesus Christ. For some time now, I have been sharing that I have a deep, persistent sense that the year 2020 will be a year where there will be a special grace of illumination of conscience, and in a particular way for young men. And this is based on the scripture from 2 Kings chapter 22, young King Josiah, he's 18 years old. And they find the, the, the book of the law of the Lord in the temple, they read it to him, and he is cut to the heart, and he has an illumination of conscience. Just like the prodigal son who was feeding the pigs, he reached rock bottom, scripture says he came to his senses. He had an illumination of conscience. And so too, I believe this year, there's gonna be a lot of young men who will finally surrender their lives to the truth of the gospel, to Jesus who is the truth, and the Lord will give them light. There's a beautiful passage from Colossians chapter one. St. Paul says, he delivered us from the power of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved son. And brothers and sisters, this is what the Lord wants to do in each one of our lives. Now, I'm recommending, no, I'm not recommending. I decided I'm not gonna recommend this film. I'm gonna declare it as a must see. Beautiful animated film called The Pilgrim's Progress. I watched it a few nights ago. I was cut to the heart. This film is about a young man who has an illumination of conscience and he leaves the city of sin and darkness and slavery and he begins his journey towards, I think they call it the, the King's Celestial City. And his illumination of conscience is based on another young man who had an illumination of conscience and left the city of sin and slavery. And uh, as the main character journeys towards the um, King's Celestial City, another young man witnesses um, these men who've had illumination of conscience and he has an illumination of conscience and goes on the journey as well. Listen to me, I'm gonna just say it straight up. If you haven't renounced the world and made the decision to fight the battle for virtue and holiness and made the decision to seek first the kingdom of God and accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, given your life to him. If you haven't done this yet, then you are still in the world, and that means you are still on the wide and easy road that leads to hell. It's as simple as that. It's clearly proclaimed in the scriptures that we must give our lives to the one and only Savior, uh, Savior of the world, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for us so that we could have eternal life. Jesus has to be our all in all. We have to be completely surrendered to him. Yes, we're gonna continue to struggle, we're gonna continue to fall, we have our weaknesses, we have to grow in virtue, we have to overcome. This is even portrayed in, in the film, The Pilgrim's Progress. It's a battle, it's tough. We're, we, 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 we stumble on the road, but it doesn't take away the fact those of us who've been uh, set free by the Son have made a decision in our life to follow Him and to journey toward our Heavenly Father's home in heaven. Viva Cristo Rey.